you are about to embark on an amazing journey. Along the way, you'll meet thousands of new people, learn the secrets of the human body, and give yourself over to a rewarding and challenging new life. There is a lot to learn at the Carver College of Medicine, and there's even more to experience during your first year. Your trip begins with Orientation Week. You'll be introduced to your classmates and to the members of the Office of Student Affairs and Curriculum. This team of 30 will keep you on track, and make sure you're well informed, and bring to your attention the many opportunities available to you. For instance, you'll be invited to join some of our 50-odd medical student interest groups during the Student Activities Fair. With the end of Orientation Week comes the Arnold P. Gold Foundation's White Coat Ceremony. In front of your family, friends, and the faculty and staff of the Carver College of Medicine, you'll be frocked with your white coat, a symbol of the profession you're entering and our way of welcoming you to the world of medicine. Then you'll begin the eight-week foundations block. You'll be introduced to gross human anatomy and the language you'll be speaking as a physician, and you'll get a good grounding in the basic sciences. Regardless of your academic background, by the time Foundations is over, you and all your fellow students will be on an even footing. Late August's Deeded Body Ceremony honors those who made the choice to donate their bodies to the College of Medicine so that you can benefit by studying actual human anatomy. Being able to touch and dissect a human body is, even in this high-tech age, a cornerstone of anatomical study. In the meantime, you'll meet your first patient, this early clinical experience, one of six you'll participate in during the first year, will allow you to learn from an experienced clinician in an actual clinic in the eastern Iowa area. You'll also get a chance to practice taking your patients' histories and giving them physical examinations. Research Day in mid-September is a celebration of Iowa med students who have participated in research during the previous year. They show off their work in scientific posters and presentations, and their efforts are judged by faculty with awards given for best research in several categories. The fourth week of November brings a welcome break as students take advantage of the week off to celebrate Thanksgiving. It's a chance to breathe and reconnect with friends and family just before the last push into December and final exams, which start in mid-December. The third Friday in December marks the end of the first semester and the beginning of a three-week holiday break. Classes start again in mid-January, and while there aren't any big milestones between then and March, there's plenty to do in the form of student interest group activities, meetings, and events just about every day. And your learning communities will no doubt offer opportunities and events too, just as they do all year long. Spring break occupies the third week of March. And though third-year students are hard at work in their clinical clerkships and fourth-year students wait on pins and needles to find out where they'll be going for their residency years, you and the second-year students get to take another break. Iowa shakes off winter, things warm up a bit, and Iowans start to emerge into the sunshine in April. You'll continue your studies, of course, but before you know it, it's the third week of May, finals week. And with that out of the way, summer is yours. During the summer after your first year, you can, of course, take a long break. But consider some alternatives, like participating in summer research opportunities, global healthcare programs in both the U.S. and in distant countries, or working with physicians in hospitals around Iowa in the Medical Education and Community Orientation Program. It's your summer, though, so make it great and come back to the Carver College of Medicine ready for your second year. You're a veteran now.